The guitar that I've been playing, it, it's, uh, it's probably not considered a guitar to me anymore. It's like a, uh, it's a limb. I try to keep this guitar at home many tours, many times, but every time I get a, uh, a replacement made because of the, the, the wear and tear on this guitar. I've been playing it for 20 years now, over 20 years. It just, it doesn't compare. I mean, we've had it cloned, lasered, you know, and uh, it just, I think, I think the mere fact of the years that, that it's uh, been used um, has become a part of me. It came from one of the originals that I kind of put parts together, which was like the N1, N2, and, um, and then I think this first N4 was, was kind of made from all the best of all the, the first two or three that I had that I kind of did by hand and chopped up and they were kind of disgusting. It's just the basics, you know, everything from where the toggle switch is to the fact that there's no tone control to just one volume. And, and I think the pickups themselves have been broken in pretty, pretty nicely and they have their own sort of tone at this point. You know, I think I've only had it refretted once. I think, you know, I, I, and that, that hurt, you know, I was like, I was really scared to do that, but it just had to be done. Whoever plays it, it definitely, you impose yourself onto the guitar, it kind of adapts to you and it breaks into you, and that's what I like about that guitar, it's a, it's a workhorse in that way. But I had no idea, I, I thought, I'd, you know, the N4 was just something I'd be playing for a couple of months, one tour, and then, and then that guitar would be put away, build another one, but um, it's impossible to, to kind of leave it at home. Yeah. <laughs>